There you are. Feels like I've been looking for you all evening. At least the past half hour. Well, I thought you'd be down there, not locked up in your bedroom. I mean, it's your party, or should I say birthday? It would only be reasonable to think you'd be the star of the show. <laughs> Believe me, I'm not the only one. Almost everyone's been asking me where you've been. I don't know why they seem to ask me, though. I pretty much only knew as much as they did. Just because I'm your best friend doesn't mean I have all the answers. I think everyone just thought you left to get some stuff, or were out doing other things, but I don't know, that just didn't seem right to me. I knew you wouldn't just leave, especially at your own birthday party. I mean, you would have at least told me about it, if not anyone else. I just knew something had to be wrong. And by the way you're looking at me, I'm afraid I might be right. No, don't say that. I can tell you're not feeling like yourself right now. There's no point in trying to hide it anymore. Well, for one, you wouldn't be all the way up here. And two, you wouldn't look like you just got done bawling your eyes out for the past ten minutes. I don't know about you, but last time I checked, I don't think crying means everything's alright. Look, it's completely fine for you to not feel okay. We all feel like that from time to time. It's not like you have to feel embarrassed about something that happens to everyone. And be stupid. It does happen to everyone though, even me. I know I've had plenty of those moments where I've felt like pretty much shit, but... And I know exactly how it feels to have these things happen. You're not the only one, I promise. But the only thing that feels worse than that is when you don't have a shoulder to lean on. Or at least someone to make you feel better. <sighs> Listen, it really hurts to see you like this. All I want to do is help however I can. Um, I'll do whatever makes you feel better, I guess. I mean, what kind of friend would I be if I left you and you needed someone the most? That'd be awful for someone to do that. I can get you some cake if you want it. We haven't got it out of the fridge yet, so you'd be the one with the first slice. Nope. You sure? Well, um... Shoot. That's about the only thing I can think of. Oh, um, sure. I'd be glad to talk. I'm okay with whatever you want. Yes, no problem. Do you mind if I sit down on the bed? Or... Thanks. If I'm being honest, my legs are getting a little bit tired. I've been up on my feet since I got here. Only now was the first time I've really been able to take a second. But, sorry, I'm getting a little bit off track. Let's focus on you, okay? So, what's wrong? What? Why would you think that? You being unattractive is like saying you're... Okay, I don't know where I was going with that, but you get the point. I mean, you're great, all around. You're just an incredible person. Dare I say perfect. Dating you would be like a dream come true for anyone. No, I mean it. I'm your best friend. Why would I ever lie to you? <laughs> okay, except for that one time. But that was a joke, alright? This time I'm being completely honest. I swear, I truly mean everything I say. And if I ever did lie to you, I'd never forgive myself. But why do you think that? What could cause you to be so negative about yourself? Hey. 
Hey, can... Can you be completely honest with me? Did something happen? I think you know exactly what I mean. Can you tell me about it? I know it's not any of my business, and I completely understand if you don't really feel like talking about it, but... Oh, okay, I'm all this. Go right ahead. Yeah, what about them? Wait, they cheated on you? That fucking... I swear, next time I see them... I always knew they were too good to be true. I promise I'll make them regret this. Don't cry, don't cry. Here, come here, let me hold you. It's alright, it's alright. Take as much time as you need. Who do they think they are, anyway? Came all this way just to break your heart. What a fucking devil. Listen, they didn't deserve you anyway. You're way too good for them. Such a sweet and loving person. I bet they didn't even know how to handle being in a relationship with someone who actually cares about them for once. Of course, none of this is your fault. You were just unfortunate enough to run across them, that's all. Ugh, I still can't get over how they could do such a thing to you. They knew it was going to kill you, yet they still did it. I seriously don't understand how someone can be so damn heartless. And to think I was almost friends with them. I feel embarrassed. I... I almost have to. The whole time, it turned out I almost became friends with an idiot. Yes, an idiot. They are an idiot. How could someone pass up you for some piece of shit? Well, anybody compared to you is a piece of shit. It's like trying to compare the Mona Lisa with some art you made back in 8th grade. Okay, maybe the analogy could have been better. But the thought was there, at least. <laughs> but, yeah, how stupid can they be for not realising the person of their dreams was literally standing right in front of them? Pretty stupid. You know, I should kick them out right now. I mean, it's your party. Technically, you can do whatever you want. Maybe I can even be your own personal bouncer. Hey, I've been working out recently. I could definitely take them. If you squint your eyes just hard enough, you're actually able to see some definition. <laughs> okay, just give me a little bit more time and I'll be able to take on anyone. Maybe even you. Okay, maybe that's a stretch, but it's good to be optimistic, I guess. Remember back in high school when we used to always try to one-up each other? I swear that was the only thing that motivated me to get straight A's. <laughs> Without you, I probably would have been just a B or a C student. Even with those A's though, I feel like you always beat me somehow. I feel like on every test or assignment I thought I nailed, you were there to quickly put me back in my place. <laughs> You were always so smart back then. Well, you still are, don't get me wrong, but especially back then. You were always the one I looked up to. Although everybody looked up to you as well. What do you mean? Can you tell? I feel like I was never anywhere but by your side. I was practically glued to you. I mean, you were really popular, and I thought hanging out with you could make me as cool as you but then as we spent more time together i realized how much i actually liked you without you i don't know where i'd be you know that's one thing they'll never have history 
They'll never be able to reminisce about their time in elementary school with you, or make fun of your cute little quirks. <laughs> what? They are pretty cute. When you've known someone for as long as I've known you, I guess you just start to appreciate even the little things about them. Like those quirks you call stupid, I call cute. <laughs> I agree to disagree. See? That's exactly why they'll never understand why I love all the small things about you. Only I do. <sighs> I wish they at least cared about you a little more. I know you loved them so much, and it really showed, but they didn't really give you the same thing back. I feel like whenever I was with you guys, I would almost urge them to make a move, patiently waiting for them to do something. But then you would whip in and land a kiss on the cheek, or hold their hand before they ever quote-unquote had the chance. It's disgusting. I wish they cared about you as much as I did. I felt like I was the only one there for you when you needed them most. Or even when you needed someone to pick you up. I felt like I was the only one who loved you. Not them. Yes, I was always the one who loved you. Ever since we were in high school, I've been waiting for the day you'd ask me out. Or at least, or at the very least reciprocated my feelings. I've always held on to the hope that you loved me as much as I love you. And that was all until they had to enter your life. Once they asked you out on a date, I knew it was over. I'd always be nothing more than a friend. Don't get me wrong, I didn't let you go, it's just, I didn't know what to do. I was too scared to try and date anyone else, because I didn't know anyone else. There was no one I could trust or enjoy being around as much as you. You were the only person for me. But, but I could see how happy you were with them though, so in the end, I decided just to bottle up my feelings and never let you find out. I was scared that if you did, it would just mess everything up. I didn't want to risk screwing up that connection we already had. Because if I lost you, I'd never be able to forgive myself. The whole time you were with them, I would just watch from the sidelines, just happy you had found someone who was right for you. It pained me, but that's what I had to do to keep you happy. I would have done it without a second thought. Because you did, and you still do, mean the world to me. Whenever you were sad, I was sad. And you were happy, so I was happy. When you would spend time with them, you'd be so grateful and loving, but now that they're gone, I feel awful. I don't see this as a new opportunity to win your heart. I see this as a tragedy. I truly, from the bottom of my heart, want to do anything and everything to make you happy. And when I can't do that, I feel almost helpless. Maybe even like I've failed you in some way. I know this is possibly the worst night of your life, but I hope I can at least make it a little less sucky. Who knows, maybe I've already fucked it up by confessing my feelings for you, but I don't care. You can hate me all you want, but in the end, as long as you know how I truly feel, I can make peace. Knowing that I can trust you with anything, even my feelings, meant that I finally had a true friend in my life. And that's all that matters to me, even if you don't feel the same way. I know that this is a lot, but I just 
I wanted to let you know that I love you. And thank you for everything you've done for me. It really means the world. More than you know. This is awkward, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. It's hard to take in. This is probably the most interesting, if not crazy, night we've both had in a while. Maybe even in our entire lives. I can't remember anything greater than this. No, don't, don't say anything about your feelings. I can't bear to know, at least for tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Plus, you're probably not thinking right anyway. This is a lot for you to think about, and I don't want you to say anything you'll regret later. Nope, nothing. You can be sure all you want, but I won't listen. Look, how about we talk about this all in depth tomorrow morning? It's just that we don't have enough time or context to agree on anything right now, and it would be stupid to try. Like I said, you can't persuade me on this. I mean it. Here, you know what? You should get some rest. You've had a stressful day. No, I mean it. It'd probably be best. Well, if you're not going to bed, then at least take it easy. Watch some YouTube, go on Reddit, I don't know, just anything, please. I want you to feel at least a little bit better when you wake up in the morning. Oh, I'm going back downstairs. I gotta make sure no one trashes the place. And that's only if they haven't already. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that. I can make something up. Maybe I can tell them that you got sick? You don't really have a lot of alcohol, so I'll just say I dared you to take a shot or two. I don't think anybody would be too suspicious of that. What? I thought it was common knowledge that you didn't drink alcohol. I don't think I've ever seen you take a shot in your life. Maybe only a handful of beers, but that's it. Hey, you should take it as a compliment. I don't think anybody can be too pure, especially nowadays. A lot of people can really use someone like you. <laughs> don't push it, alright? Let's, let's not ruin the nice moment. Speaking of which, I think it's my time to go. Believe me, I wish I could stay with you the rest of the night, but I've got some of my own things I need to do. Hey, tomorrow morning, first thing, we can have ourselves a nice little sit down like we promised. I'll make sure not to forget. I got everything under control, no reason to doubt me. Well, um, good night, I guess. I better not see you down here for a midnight snack, alright? <laughs> good, because if you did, you wouldn't hear the end of it. <laughs> Just go to bed already. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Hey, this. Thanks again for tonight. Surprisingly, I think I needed this more than you did. <laughs> Okay, maybe not, but still, you really helped. Thank you. Alright, good night.